now we shall discuss unit 3 mcq question number 12 two short bar magnets their magnetic moments are given as 1.20 ampere meter squared and 1.00 ampere meter squared respectively they are kept in such a way on a horizontal table and parallel to each other with their north north poles pointing towards the south okay so let's just uh, see how they are placed you can see in the diagram the green color line or arrow with an n represents geographical or magnetic uh, geographical north you can see that in the case of the first magnet so this is our first magnet and the second magnet both the first and second magnets they are short and they are placed parallel to each other and they are also placed in such a way that their north poles are towards the geographic south you can see that it is represented here as n so the north pole of the magnet in both the cases they are in the direction of the geographical south they have a common magnetic magnetic equator and they are separated by a distance of 20 cm you have to find out the value of the resultant horizontal magnetic induction at the point o that is the center in the line joining the two they have also given the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic induction as 3.6 into 10 power minus 5 tesla now you have to recall <coughs> that we have to apply in the case of a short bar magnet how to find the magnetic induction along the equatorial line due to a bar magnet we will write the magnitude of that it is given by the formula mu not divided by 4 pi pm divided by pm divided by r cube so this is in the case of a short bar magnet if you write it in the vector form you should get it as b equatorial vector is equal to mu not divided by 4 pi pm divided by r cube under the conventional arrangements of coordinate system system of axes this is how it should be okay i j n k now as you can see here <coughs> from the theory of the bar magnets equatorial uh, value of magnetic induction you should be knowing that in the case of a bar magnet the magnetic induction along the equatorial point or equatorial line let us say the point is o and the green color dotted line is the equatorial line so this is our equatorial line so on the equatorial line you will know that you should know that the direction of the magnetic field or magnetic induction is opposite to the direction of dipole moment you also know that the dipole moment in the case of any bar magnet is from the south pole to north pole therefore the dipole moment of the first bar magnet is in this direction that is minus j direction p m 1 or p m p m 1 and in the case of the second bar magnet also it is in the same direction p m 2 So in our case, the PM one <coughs> is along the minus J direction, but the direction of B one, the direction of B one, is opposite to PM vector. So therefore, we have to write it carefully here. Of course, we can also write it with a minus sign. 
isn't it? So in each cases, let me write now b1 vector is equal to mu naught divided by 4 pi pm1 divided by pm1 divided by the distance here is r as well as here the distance is r the total distance is 20 the total distance is 20 therefore r will be 10 centimeters first we will write it as r cube and the direction is along the j vector the direction of b1 is along j likewise in the case of the second bar magnet also it is the same mu naught divided by 4 pi pm2 divided by again it's r cube this is also in the same direction as the previous one now what about bh bh which will be pointing in the direction of the magnetic meridian so the bh's direction will also be the same as the other two so the value is given there it's 3.6 into 10 to the power of minus 5 tesla its direction is also the same so to find the total the total magnetic field due to all the three will be in the direction of the j vector so that's the total so if you want to find out the total magnetic induction it is b1 vector plus b2 vector plus bh vector <coughs> mu naught by 4 pi and then r cube pm1 since they are in the same direction we can add them pm2 plus bh all of them are in the same direction as the j cap so the magnitude alone if i write the magnitude of the total magnetic induction should be therefore mu naught divided by 4 pi r cube into pm1 plus pm2 plus bh we can try to substitute these values here <coughs> mu naught is 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 henry per meter divided by 4 pi and the distance is 10 into 10 power minus 2 the whole cube into pm1 in the case of the first bar magnet it is 1.20 for the second one it is 1.00 so it's 1.2 plus 1.00 the answer is 2.2 .2 ampere meter square which is a proper SI unit and then we have to add this with 3.6 into 10 power minus 5 4 pi gets cancelled so in the denominator we have 10 into 10 power minus 2 is 10 power minus 1 and the whole power 3 cube is 10 power minus 3 therefore we will get 2.2 .2 into 10 power minus 7 into 10 power plus 3 the denominator 10 power minus 3 goes to the numerator you will get this much plus what I will do is I will write this 3.6 into 10 power minus 5 <coughs> okay I will retain this and then let me first in the case retain this in the next system what we will do is in the first term of this addition we have 2.2 .2 into 10 power minus 4 so this can be rewritten as 22 into 10 power minus 5. So this should be 22 into 10 power minus 5 plus 3.6 into 10 power minus 5. So it's 22.0 plus 3.6. So it's 25.6. 25 25.6 into 10 power minus 5 Tesla that is the answer let us check of course the answer in the uh, question is 2.56 into 10 power minus 4 because 25.6 into 
10 power minus 5 Weber per meter squared and Tesla are the same. We can reduce the decimal value by one digit so that it becomes 2.56. In doing so, you should increase the power by one which means it's 10 power minus 4. So the answer for this question is C.